Welcome back to Banjo Tooie, everyone! I am the Duck of Indeed, and it is time to continue. Let's go in here now. I don't know. I'm just randomly checking out different areas. This leads to somewhere moist. Smuggler's Cavern. That is another jiggy we cannot reach. So many things we cannot do right now. We need a move from world. Sit. Go down. Seven. Let's see. Gotta watch out for those nasty puffer fish. Okay, there's some things that little torpedo kazooie has to do. Come on, honey. Let's see. Whoa, hey! What? 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 <laughs> Go somewhere safer, Banjo. Let's, let's put you in a corner or something. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. I, I think I just got a glitch. I'm walking around on the bottom, and I can't swim anymore. Well... Oh my, I've never seen this before! Well then... Hmm... Let's take advantage of this while we can. <laughs> I'm swimming again. Okay. Well then... That could have been a little fun. <laughs> well, I'm glad that recorded. I've never seen that before. Woohoo! Glitches! I got... I got a Cheeto page. And I can destroy this! Yay. Okay. Let's go through that pipe real quick. Haha. <laughs> that was weird. That was rather amusing. I am glad that happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Grunty Industries Water Supply Pipe. That'll be world number six. Shoot the top, or shoot the middle of the fan to freeze it. Sometimes you can shoot the blades. I always shoot the middle. It's the easiest. Let's see where this goes. We're using air again underwater because we're in a different world. Waste disposal plant. There's a Jinjo in here. Okay. Kind of fun sometimes you can get peek, uh, uh, get a little quick peek of another world. Sometimes. Cool. Neat. Ooh. Okay, let's go back. Let's see what we want to do now. Hee <laughs> hee. Here we go, let's see. Where have I not been? We'll have to see once we get back out of here. Hmm. That was a silly glitch. I've seen some pretty gl funny glitches in my time. There's been some good ones. Whoa! No! Not usually in Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Tooie is a pretty glitch-free game, but there's some that I've seen some pretty funny things happen. Pretty good times I've had. Never been able to record it, though. I wasn't recording back then, and you can't always make them happen when you want them to. Let's see. This leads back here. Oh! I should be able to do something. Whoops! Something here. Hello. Let's go into the UFO! Inside the UFO. Pretty obvious. Hello. Talk to me. Greetings, feeble earthlings. Wow, real aliens. Are any of you called Elvis? No, we're Alf, Betty, and Gamo. We're also in a bit of a fix. Let me guess. You need to phone home. No, we have a cell phone for that. The drive unit on our ship has run out of fuel. It's powered by crystallized ice, but we don't have any. I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out. Let's see if the other ones will talk to me. I'm not sure. Talk to me? Our ship has run out of fuel, as we have no ice to power it. Not so superior now, are we? <laughs> You're funny, Kazooie. Oh, I bet that's a Minjo. Yep. Ah, creepy things. 
Ninjas are aliens, it confirmed. Are you gonna all say the same stuff? Yes, I think so. So what you do is you shoot ice, an ice egg into those. I'll just stand in the center and do it. Power up the other crystals quickly. You have 20 seconds. Hopefully I won't mess it up. I hope I won't screw up everything like I normally do. <laughs> There we go. Thank you, Earthling Bear and Bird. Now please exit our ship, as we need to leave. We are late for dinner. Any chance of a reward? We landed on a shiny thing. You may have that. Now go. Okay. They're all happy now. Hooray. You see, he's shooting off lasers. That doesn't seem particularly safe. <laughs> Goodbye. Those are weird looking aliens. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm gonna get a shiny thing. Hooray! I've always wanted a shiny thing. Main drive engaged. Activating nav scanners. Strange glowing lights on. All systems are go. Now let's get out of this awful earthling water. And find the kids. I thought you said you're late for dinner. I think they ejected somewhere over, over a snowy mountain. We will be seeing more of them later. We We got to see aliens, everybody. A glitch and aliens. What a neat video this has been. Let's see. I came from that way. Let's go this way. Go freeze that octopus again. Those octopus always scared me for some reason. I don't know why. Come in. I like octopus, but they're also kind of creepy. I think it's the beak that bothers me. That's the part that's the worst, I think. Okay, so I've, I've been everywhere in Atlantis. We can go left or right. I kind of did that opposite. Left or right. <laughs> Let's go left, because, because I said so. Whee! Let's see. Where would these go? Another octopus. I think I'm being hit by one of the tentacles, but it's not really doing anything. Shoot him! Whee! I honestly have no idea where we're gonna end up because I forgot. I forgot how to get around this place. Ah, oh, ship! Cool. Let's see. Mm. Ooh! Warp pad! Cool. Wrecked ship. Don't know how it got in an underwater cave though. Seems kind of confusing to me. But I won't question it. It's a video game after all. How do I get back in? Right here we are. Let's see, right here. You may see a treasure chest with a Jinjo on it. I think, I don't know if this is what you have to do, but I always, uh, I always blow it up. There is a Jinjo. Yay! Cool. Let's see, any of those clear fish, or is that all? I'll get that tunnel soon. Don't think I've forgotten, I haven't. That leads somewhere. It's so confusing. There's so many different puzzles around here. Nope. Yep, wrong button. Nope. Wrong button. Nope. Whoop. Whoop. I need to do first person again. That's the only way I can get around. So that's how I get by in this game. Okay. This should lead us. I think this leads us to Glitter Gulch Mine. Pretty sure. Yes. This should lead us to whoop, a Jinjo. I believe there was a Jinjo you could get by going this way. Actually, I think I might take a little whoops. Whoops. Ah, where am I? Whoopsie. I might take a little detour. I might take a quick detour since we're in the area. First of all, here's a Jinjo. Hooray! 
I got the yellow gingos. Cool. I wasn't going to revisit past worlds until I was able to totally complete them, but I may as well do this real quick. Since I'm right in the area, I might as well. Here, we will use... Whoops. Torpedo. Tor torpedo. Kazooie. Whoops. Wrong button. Ah. Okay. Woohoo! This will lead us to something neat. I need to go back. There we go. Okay. This should lead us to something quite secret. Let's see. We are on the icy side of Hail Fire Peaks World 7. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool being able to see uh, other worlds before you can actually lock them. That is, uh, we'll see that guy eventually in the future. He's frozen in the ice. We will help him eventually. Let's see. When did I... You used the ice key to open that. When did I even get the ice key? Or is that from uh, Banjo-Kazooie? Hmm. I don't really remember, actually. When did we get that? Wow, you've caught the legendary Mega Globo. It's supposed to have really special magical powers. Cool. Yeah. Pretty neat. We will bring that to Humba Wumba in the Pine Grove, and she can do she can do a very special transformation for us. I will show you guys that. But yeah, I was just thinking, where do we even where did we even get the ice key in Banjo Tooie? Or is it like because of stop and swap? Obviously, when you first play Banjo Tooie on the Nintendo 64, there is no stop and swap. So I have no idea where the ice key comes from. It's from. It's possible the ice key comes from. What is it? Maybe it comes from like one of those. Banjo-Kazooie game cartridges, but in this version maybe it comes from a Banjo-Kazooie stop and swap. I don't know. But yeah, that's what the ice key does, is it opens up the way to the Mega Globo. Right this way. I'm gonna show you guys something neat. This is an optional transformation. I don't usually use it, but I'll show you guys what it is. I prefer just my regular self, but it's cool though. Me much surprised. You have the legendary Mega Globo. Want to give to Humba? I do. That's why I came here. Sure. I'll just throw it in. This is gonna do something neat. Woohoo! Let's go in. At first it looks like nothing's changed, but you'll see. Wumba call this dragon. But what's changed? Kazooie, now Big Heat Dragon. Burn many baddies. Now, think you try something new. Oh no, she's off on one- She's off on one again, what are you talking about? What? What? First a dragon and now this. That must be for nuts and bolts, yes, I suppose so. I have no idea it has something to do with that game again. I have no idea what they're talking about. She can now breathe fire! I prefer regular Kazooie just because it's regular Kazooie, but this is pretty neat. Hee <laughs> hee. It's weird. Enemies run away when you try to burn them. <laughs> I don't blame them! Whoops! <laughs> Lights everything on fire. Come on, come back, come back, come on, come on! I promise I won't do it this time. I promise. <laughs> Get back here. Yeah. 
That's Dragon Kazooie. Honestly, I'd rather just keep the regular Kazooie, cause, so I'm gonna turn back, but it's pretty cool. I just, I just prefer the original version of Kazooie. Kazooie Classic. <laughs> but Dragon Kazooie's pretty cool, so. It's a pretty cool optional thing if you want to use it. Let's stop there. In the next video, we're gonna continue Jolly Roger's Lagoon. But, yes, this is a good place to stop. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and visit us at virtualbastion.com for more gaming fun. Goodbye, and you're welcome.